Find much more. Rhyme ready, ready on the side. He sees the dash out. Firov's in a great position to do some additional damage. And Rhyme working his way around the side. Might sideswipe Eccles here, who doesn't expect it at all. This is huge from Rhyme. He's pushing forward. He's making it work. And they're just spamming through the smoke right now. Scream. He's all alone. And this is so difficult for him to deal with. He's missing so many shots. It's unlike Scream. One, two. He's got him front of him. He's healing up. How is he trying to get away with this? Eventually, Lucker puts him down. The spike will be defused. But this is what we keep saying about Scream on this Raider. What on earth? It's mad. It just, it's been a long time since they've felt or since we felt that comfortable in their performance. But oh, oh my, look at that. That is a very aggressive peak with a Marshall. Yeah, I'm guessing he didn't expect him to be that pushed up on it. But Hips in a good position to do some serious damage. He starts off with one, but the rest of Liquid swarm the site. No problem at all for Eccles. The spike's going to go down and with guns in their hands. Nip didn't have the upgrade. And then you just peek in with a marshal. Like, why? What is that? And spray down. You can't do that regardless of what weapon you have, regardless of what kind of round it's in. And Locker, oh no, he's just taken down two. That must have been a collateral. No, it wasn't. That was on two no. different angles. Yeah. Gorgeous work. And the thing about Lucker, I spoke about it from day one. The fact that the way he plays on Haven, he's always pushing out of carriage, right? He doesn't go to take for the normal hit on B. He looks to move his way. There's an op watching it. I'm ready to take those shots. And so far in this tournament, Lucker's been pretty damn consistent. Oh, the timing. Soul gas. Doesn't work out for him. His teammates fall around him. Scream's able to fire back with one, but... A smart way of staying alive there for Soulcast, but is it going to be enough to help them net the round? They're still down one man, and they're going to back away from A for now. I mean, that was basically three kills. The peek through by Soba, yeah. he gets the, the ultimate, and then the two players. That could have really spiraled out of control. I feel like, you know, the, we had the, the Rolling Thunder come through, but the pop of the ult, of, when he tries to run it back, could have been very dangerous. Oh, this peak, and if they don't take the corner, nicely done by Scream. Links there to get Rhyme as well. One more in the sight, but look how Scream is playing it with that Rainer again. It must be so infuriating if you are Nip. You feel like you're able to tap him down. He's just slowly getting healed up the whole way through as he pushes on forward. Now Lucker all alone in a 1v3. And unless he gets a pick early on, he might just back away, hold on to this operator and save it for the next round because... It's still very close. It's still been quite back and forth. And yeah, looking at it, he decides against it. He doesn't want to go for him. You have a crossfire setup on long. You have a player in window ready to swing after they peek. Three players on A. Perfect read. Pretty much perfect setup as well. Yep. Screen walks through, takes the opening kill. The window guy's like, hey, I got this. I'm going to swing. I'm going to take him down. No, nope, you're being watched by Link on the operator from long. The other guy in the corner is like, well, they've killed two. You know, they'll never expect. Gun round, it was the buy-up after that that helped him stay within it. And ready, luck a pop in the old fear off. He was able to get one, but then straight on top of it is Scream. Luck attempting fate with that. You don't want to peek into it. With the knives popped, the ult's already been spent. You might want to play a little bit more defensively in a round like this where Liquid are directly looking for you. Yeah. Well, obviously off the back of that opening, uh, so first of all, the reason that Looker didn't have the operator, he has his ult, so he gave it over to Firith just to get an extra weapon up in the round. Firith gets the kill, but he can't dash out of there because he's a Sova, so he's stuck in the open, just wrecked. For Looker, he wants to get aggressive because they spotted out that a long players, this could be very dangerous. He cannot afford to wait. Oh, no. oh, close. He can't even get them off. He just thrown down another smoke. That's so unfortunate for Looker. But Cree, he's in the corner. Oh. He gets one. Oh, no. It's fallen apart. Liquid maintain the advantage. And now they're not even pushing out to sea. They're, they're taking their time. They're hitting the brakes. The smokes, the flashes, the confusion was there. For all players that were involved, but Liquid can back away. They do need to get their skates on a little bit, though, with 25 seconds to play with. Cryptic's looking to lead the charge and push on up. The turret's up high. They'll easily deal with it, but this could be huge from Ryan. This could be the thing that saves them. Tries to make it work. He's committed the ult. Comes in with a spray, but Link still deals with it. Operator in hand. They've only got hips to find, but is his position going to be checked? He starts with a spam. He's got himself. Liquid was not impressed with that. You saw that like, they were pushed for time, so Scream wanted to jump straight in and get the plant on go. And already in this round, it started to go fast and furious, but this time in Nip's favor. 
fear off. Oh, he oh can't escape that in time. Walks back into Solkas's molly. The fire at his feet. And this could actually give them a chance to play with this. Lucker playing it smart. Doesn't want to be tagged up by the turret at all. That was... They're going to have a good idea of where he's gone, though. Oh man, Firod's just been aftershocked. He got a uh, Molly. He's not Irish. He's... You can't keep saying, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> man. My beautiful Irish boy, Firod. But yeah, he got he got wrecked, mate. He got hit by everything under the sun. He was already like 6 HP as well. This push through, it's dangerous. This looker's got the timing. He snuck into Garage, coming up behind them. He might just get this spike and stop it from being planted. He does. Gets out of there. Time now on their side. And a 4v2 as well. Liquid need to gain some ground. And this is a great opening by Eccles, actually. Good start to it. Now they can actually afford to... Oh, but he's no flashes. He really needs to pull the operator off the angle. But instead, it's just going to be the dry peaks oh. that are working out. They've already got the four players here. Liquid should have realized that. Oh, oh. no. Oh. What is this? Lynx just wrecked them. The paranoia wanted to be thrown out by Korea. Hips fall. Oh, he's hip doing again. it again. He's activated. He's making it work, but they've still got one player to find. Scream's in a good position. He's healed himself up, and he's got a Vandal to play with. Rhyme now in the 1v2, and the problem for him is he doesn't have much information to play off, but he does have the flashes to try and make work. Did they realize where that came from? I think that they might have. Yeah, they're backing yeah. off. They're conscious of sight. They know where he is. I think it was an attempt at a fake from him. But he realizes now the jig is up. The game is given away, and Rhyme's able to pick up one. Now he can actually tap this and maybe just buy himself a little bit of time. Uh, they're not going to peek him, though. Scream will just took away in the corner. And this should be it. There's not really much time left. Scream's just going to wide swing on this. Easy kill. Him. They just couldn't get those early rounds up. Because if they allow Liquid to build up that momentum and really pull back into this, it could be very dangerous. Solkus opening this one up nice and cleanly. Oh, it continues. The flashes are just perfect. Liquid bundled their way into the B site. No problem at all to get the spike down. Yes, they're only going up against pistols, but just the execution when you look at it. It's like everything that Nick were trying to do to just find an opening, find the entry, even shoot a little bit was delayed by flashes coming straight up in their face. And now Hip, he's just holding down the end of C-Long. They know exactly where he is. Flashes once again. But the Phoenix Ult's going to be destroyed. Oh, go oh, the TP up top. It's dangerous. Kree's being caught out before by this kind of stuff. He's trying to shoot the spike. Oh. That's not quite how it works. He's being pushed into the back of the side into safety, but he's not safe enough. Sulk is still able to hunt him down. And put a 2v4 on the board. For Liquid at this point, it should be an easy spike plan. Then even easier because they're pushing into the A site, which is completely oh, open. Again. You love this from Liquid. They do it so many times. They'll hit B, they'll hit B. You've seen them this on the previous compositions of agents, but this is a tried and tested strategy from them. Get B site control. So we're going to come down to how fast Liquid want to take this Lucker right on the edge of the knives in his hand. This could be huge. Oh, he misses on the right click. Scream doesn't have a clue where he is. Lucker still gets the kill, but that's all he's going to get. He continues to just be so unlucky with the right click. He thinks it's going to hit, and they just dance all around. Fear off token, he can chime in with a bit more of that Marshall, but still the weaponry is heavily in favor of Liquid. They've got the site control, and Fear off. there might be a slight time that he can work with here. But Link already got the cover fire on. Firoff wants to try and poke onto it again. But Link, he says, I dare you to poke me and I'm always going to win that duel. I know your game and I'll play you at it all day long. Get out of we're playing way. over towards the A site. That's the game plan for Liquid. Echo's in a little bit of trouble here. He gets peaked from top Ooh. mid. Easy kill. But Liquid are just going to blitz out to A on the back of that. They know they've lost a player. They've lost their mid flank. And so it's all about playing that very two-dimensional approach of just running up through long and short. The ultimate goes down for Cryptics. The lockdown keeping his opponents. Look at where it's pushed oh, them to. Wow. The far side of B as the spike is planted. And only now can they start making a move. That has bought them so much time. And it's even allowed Looker to... Or not Looker, excuse me. It's allowed their jet to get right up into heaven. Link has got a great position there to lock down the post plants. Still a chance here for Nip. It is a 3v3, but Link, he finds Lucker. And he's not going to be finishing anytime soon. 
Tree looking to avoid the rolling thunder, but Scream there, ready and waiting. Link's on back, two bullets later. Oh, the I bait as well, because Link's there with the shorty. Is it going to be checked by the drone or Rainer deals with it? If this isn't checked, Link is going to do some serious damage. One goes down at the second. Link with the shorty plays again. He's going to try and get out of there, and he does escape with 13 health. Link. The Jet, I'm loving it from start to finish. Tom said he wanted to see it. Well, so do I. I want to see some more of it. Because Liquid right now, they're in there. Previous roster are essentially Ooh. almost overtaking them. Even with the lineup changes, up to that's a bit different. But yeah, you know, are they really going to stick by you? Are you are you feeling comfortable right now? I don't think so. Oh, God. This is chaotic. So many pistol shots coming in. But still, somehow, someway, the kills are going the way of Liquid. Yes, they have the upgraded weapons. But there was so much damage just done there by NIP. Absolutely. Lurking Lurker. Yeah, he might get shredded himself. Yep. One or two. You're going to look for a little bit more in there. Oh. I think this is just sheer confidence and straight away one for one trades. Oh. That's perfect. That's like around like this. If you can find one for one trades, liquid or over the moon. Sadly, though, for Soul Class, he might have been able to escape had he not been blocked by his teammate. It was a little bit of quick decision making that couldn't go in their way. But the one for one, you'll take it given the weapons. Eccles looking to try and get on a flank here. And he's actually able to pick up Rhyme. That's a huge pickup. Lucker now trying to turn the tide for him. Does have the better weapon to deal the damage with. And the numbers will stay in favor of NIP as fear of sneak round. Link's in a great position, but he just gets caught trying to move around. And it's all on screen and it's a 1v3. You can't expect much from him in this. More some I mean, damage control, picking up a weapon and, and seeing what he can do. I see the weapon he has right now it doesn't allow for the one taps, but look at what the machines oh. just managed to retrieve. He's making sure he's safe to pick it up, clears the wider angle, then goes back for it. The thing is, the time isn't great. It's it's against no. him for sure. And you know you're going to be running into crossfire, so there's no need to go for this. Really, he's now being spotted, and so running in towards the A side's the most likely play. And yeah, he's just going to create a little bit of space and look to save this weapon. Well, this is good, though, right? Nip okay, you lost the pistol, so out of the whole series so far, we've had four pistol rounds. They've only won one. But you bounce back on a buy round. You don't allow it to get too crazy, too out of control from the liquid side. Problem is, Liquid will have enough money though, and especially with this save Vandal, at least initially, they're bundling away. They're going to run back to round, get the spike down still. We played the old switch to move, went back and forth, back and forth, and Nip, they're picking up the kills either way. Liquid's been far too much time having to run around. Rip is coming in with a pistol whip, looking for some more, but Kree's going to comfortably deal with it. And Scream with that Vandal will look to just try and hold on. Their way, but they look way better on this one, that's for sure. Which is a solid map when it comes to Liquid. Great opening by Link. Oh. Heckle's position caught them completely off guard. They're able to return the kills. They're pulling oh. right back into it. And Hip again, the monster that they needed. There goes Lockdown. Cryptics wants to push and destroy this. He wants to get up in their faces, but they're all here. There's one kill straight away. Five seconds, he's got to run. And he's just catching all the kills. He's just chilling. He's staying in it. It doesn't even matter. He may be detained, but Lucker won't be able to hunt him down in time. Now it's a 1v2, and that almost looked like it was going to be guaranteed Nip's round into the B site. Hip did everything he possibly could, but the wrong decision at the end there didn't wait for his ult to pop. Oh, I mean, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Just a little bit. Team Liquid pulling right back into that one. This is a round of individuals from start to finish. And as Looker wants to be the final individual to answer up to match the performance that his teammate gave, Ooh. he's getting aggressive in towards the spawn, and he's managed to perfectly evade his opponents. I don't think he's got time to go all the way around. Yeah, he no. can't play the merry-go-round this time. And they've run. actually managed to creep on in and get towards the spike. Oh, There's no. Committed. It's nice and passive, but it's enough to keep Looker away. He has a dash, so he could go in right after this has popped. Now he's going to go in right now, looking for the kill. He can't find a dash out of there. And now it's popped. They know exactly where oh. he is. The swing from Cryptics to close it out. A 3k for him. And just in time. Comfort zone. I think he delivers far and above what Kree does. This guy is... Oh, wow. Well, well. <laughs> can't deliver a whole lot when that happens. And Scream, he uses his dismiss oh, to wow. quickly push up and get in their face. Oh. He even dodges the shot on the way out. But Kree... He's the man this round that's opening it up and taking down Cryptics, leaving the site wide open for the taking and punishing Eccles on the re-aggression. 
This is nice from Nip, though. They've got the numbers advantage. They don't have to commit. There's still plenty of time. And they can run that clock all the way down. They want to reposition themselves towards A and Liquid. They've left the site for now, but Soulcast starts to make a bit of a return towards it. And just in the nick of time. Does he want to poke on this? Or does he stay defensive? Oh, nicely done. He's going to flash his way through. Oh, he starts off with a headshot delivery, but he can't get the kill. Luck is there to finish him off. So much damage, but no kills for Soulcast, and that might be exactly what Nick needed to happen. Scream expecting the hunt to come in. He's healing himself back up. He's put himself in a great position. Full shield as well. And actually, with ults online, there's a possibility for Liquid to make this work. We hear it. It's going to come out. Link believes he can make it work. He dashes on through. There's a smoke in front of him. He's on the edge of it. Starts off with one. Looking for more. He's up high. The knives are there. He's backed up by Scream. And they are tearing Nip apart once again. They had the numbers advantage, but the teamwork is far too strong. Fear up on the edge of it, but Scream deals with him. This can they take. They start to close the gap. And whoa, here we go. Scream wants to make this work. And he does for now. Backs away. Plays it smart. He needs to deliver some more as well for the rest of his team because instantly Firov's able to reply. The flash comes out. Rhyme deals with a scream. And again, this is Nip's chance over and over. Oh, and Link pokes back into Firov. An unexpected movement, but can Nip hold on to this lead? They should be able to, Banks, but look at the HP for Breach. He is very, very low as they come pushing oh. up through this alley. Cryptics could have the god timing on it. He's dropping down silently, but he's being watched. Kree is holding that angle. Oh, but he gets shut down through the wall, in fact, in the end, as Cryptix looks for more and gets it. Now we mention Breach is already very low. Rhyme can't get a whole lot done, really, when it comes to straight up aim duels. And he's even got a Bulldog. Hasn't upgraded either on his way back out. Well, that old... is a, an odd position. They're going to start pushing on through. Solkus looking for a fight, looking for a duel. Nothing offered up for the Molly. No! This is huge. He's pulled back at just the wrong second, though. But he still gets <laughs> Rhyme. They might think it's clear now, though. They've got to go. That time is very low. Hip in a 1v2. He's the player that's made these Covering happen him. before. He swings oh! and he misses. That is Team Liquid getting the defuse and of NIP's performance here in the Blast Twitch Invitational. Team Liquid are looking to dominate without any ultimates online. The ults are firmly in favor Ooh. of NIP. And look at this straight dash through from Looker. He's already right in the back of B. And Kree's managed to open that one up. Helped out by Looker, they've got the advantage and what should be a plant, but they're pushing through the smoke and that's up against Scream. Hip though, he's ready for the challenge. He's ready to try and take it. It looked again so good for NIP, but we're back in a 2v2. Soulcast right on the edge. Cree ready and waiting for him. The smoke may be down in front, but it's not going to work out. It's now a beer to back up. Oh, and he's taking a more forward position. I like this. This might not be expected considering the turret placement. At the moment, can be poke around. He wants to find some more information. <sighs> Just gets detained right on the edge of it. Soulcast has found fear off though. Kree dance around to the back lines and Link's just going to escape. Oh, this is huge work. How is he getting it done? With just the Spectre in his hand. He upgrades to the Operator and they're in a good position to do some more. NIP now in a 5v2. Ryan trying to push through. He knows he needs to even up these numbers. He grabs the spike and he can't run away. The flames are at his feet. Soulcast is delivering more. He's not done yet. Eventually he falls, but it's still 3v2. And Scream, he's making this possible. He's doing it all once again as Ryan is running away for his life. 10 seconds. He's got to commit oh, to the bottom. No. He pushes into B. He's just going to be wrecked. They've already got the rotate on. They're watching him cross.